hi guys in this video we will learn how to use multi select using select to in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's see so you can see here i simply created product create component and you can see that there is an option called multi select over here you can see over here okay and there is a simply name price and detail for the product okay and let me go and show you my component that product create blade file there is simple form with the multi select option over here okay and same thing product create class over here okay class component so you can see that so simply now let me go here and i want to use multi select and select okay so simply go here and there is a selection so if i go to the basic uses and if i go and there is a multi choose you can see that i can choose multiple options like this way and exactly same thing i want to do over here okay so what i need to do first of all i will go and click on installation and simply copy okay cdn file so simply go here and let me go to the resource and there is a layouts file here i just need to add okay save it okay now what i need to do simply go here blade file product create and here i will be simply use script okay and then i will end section so i will say end script okay and here what i will do simply i will define the class like select to get so i will copy this class okay over here and add to the select to simply save it okay and now let me go here and here i will be simply say select to function okay simply save it and now let me go here and refresh it okay now you can see that i simply select the multiple option over here okay and now if i click on submit you can see that it's become again the same same over old simple drop down over here okay so how can we avoid using the live wire hook morph you hook okay so let me go and quickly add it so let me go here and i will do first document dot add event listener and then i will simply say live wire colon initialized okay and simply i will start function and now let me okay sorry yeah, function okay and what i will do i will create another function over here and that's called lord javascript okay and then remove this and same exactly i will put over here and i will simply remove the body i will make some more spacing over here and here i will be simply call lord javascript okay and same thing if i say live wire colon hook and i will use morphed hook and then if i say function sorry not this like this way and i will simply call like this way and again i will load load javascript function okay simply copy and paste save it okay and now let me go here and refresh and now let me choose both option furniture and if i click on submit you can see that keep the keep the drop down with the select to okay now let me go and add that both value into the my variable that's called category ids using on change event so i will say on change and i will say function okay and here what i will do simply use wire set using the wire variable i can access all the variables over here okay simply put dollar this well and simply save it okay that means it's put on the category underscore ids variable okay let me go here and simply i will say info and i will say this categories id and simply save it over here okay and now let me go to my log file and it's already clear so let me refresh it and i will choose two okay and click on submit now if i go you can see that i can go i can get the categories in array okay now what i will do simply i already have one table that's called cat product underscore categories that means product id and categories id over here so there is a one product id and there is a multiple category id okay so what i will do simply go here 
and I've already created model for it. So simply go here and I will say product category, copy this and what I will do simply use over here and I am getting in array. So what I will do after create the product, I will simply use for each loop and I will simply say cat underscore ID, save it and here what I will do product category colon colon create and we need both two fields that call product underscore id that's called dollar product id and then i will say category id and that's i am getting from the value okay simply save it okay and now semicolon save it okay and now let me refresh it and let's create the one record okay so i will choose two furniture and i will simply say test video one price will be 200 and detail i will just add test simply click on submit okay and now let me go here and let me check the products test video one and that's id will be 19 now let me go to the product categories and now you can see that 19 with the category id will be 2 and 19 is the product id and category id is 4 so you can see how easily we can use select to with multi selection option and we can also store into the database so i hope guys you understand how easily we can do it and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys